Ladies and gentlemen, we are so here. We are so ready. The situation is worse than the Niji Sanji situation by an insane degree. You thought the Niji Sanji shit was going awfully? <laughs> <laughs> you ain't seen nothing yet. Niji Sanji might be a absolutely rotten to the core evil company uh, on a macro level, but on a micro level, Wactor is worse. Now, a lot of people are unaware of this. Okay, he doesn't actually have that in the title, but there is a VTuber agency called Wactor, and Falside, I'm sure, is going to cover the most recent uh, situation they've gotten themselves into. Now, Wactor is not just a side dish of drama. Wactor is the main course. Wactor is not a clown. Wactor is the entire circus. What the fuck is a Wactor? Bro, okay, so here's the thing. The massive VTuber agencies like Niji Saji, for example, that literally you have to sell your soul to the CEO whose actual legal name is Valentino, all right? Wactor is insane. Literally so much worse in every way, and it's tiny. Like, they're, they're, I wouldn't want to join Niji Sanji, even though it's massive. Wactor, I barely knew her. All right, all right, fuck you, Chet. All right, what do we got? What do we got? Let's see the new Wactor drama. This is much, much worse than the, uh, than the Niji Sanji stuff. Like, once we're in diving into the world of VTuber agency degeneracy, this is so bad. Now, there are a lot of good VTuber agencies. Wactor's the worst. <laughs> The worst ever. Means sensitive topics. Viewer discretion is ad Dude, he didn't do viewer discretion is advised when freaking Niji talent tried to kill themselves. He didn't do need viewer discretion is advised. That is how important, that's how insane these people are, okay? Get ready. As today we return to 910 Inc., a recent rebranding of the Wachter VTuber Agency. This Japan-based agency becoming infamous. They might be in Japan, but they are not based. Frick, these guys are insane. The past years, having leaked private information like names and addresses of talents who had tried to leave the agency along... Just to, just to fully be clear so you know exactly what that means in a lot of terms, uh, some VTubers were like, uh, I don't want to leave this... I don't want to be part of this agency. Not only do you not have clout, but you also treat us like shit. And they're like, oh, you want to leave the agency? Well, we're going to dox you. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are actually horrible. Side also leaking private information of fans. This agency finding initial success due to making inroads with the Spanish-speaking community. But now, after having lost 40-plus talents, moving... They lost over 40 talent! Oh, Lord! Oh, God! Oh, God! Dude, Nichi Sanji lost 20% of their company stock, and they're, like, losing their mind. Dude, these guys lost everything! Moving into 2024, only six Japanese talents had remained with the... <laughs> no! <laughs> no! They had 50 talent, they lost over 40, and they have six left. Six! <laughs> agency and now as of this past weekend no. the agency no. has lost nearly all of their talents that can't be a talent agency if you don't have any talent got them can't see my panties if i'm not wearing any ggs gg <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord. Uh, beginning with Himeragi Ageha herself sending out this prepared notice in both Japanese and Spanish. This message handedly translated by Hikaru, as we also have further details from a later stream by this talent that go even beyond what you are about to hear. This message reading, I, Himeragi Ageha, am writing to inform you that I have been subject to the following treatment of my office. That including right. forced to perform work not included in my contract. The Forced to perform work not allowed in my contract. Bro, this is some slavery shit. It's not slavery if it's live streamed, am I right, guys? Amount of staff work was clearly not proportional to the amount of money involved. Fear Dude, I think that the most apt uh, analogy I can give to the situation is Wactor is essentially a pimp. Wactor's a pimp, and they're pimping out their talent, and they're, you know, when the talent says, But I already did the amount of hours I needed to, they just pimp slap the bitch, and are like, no, you get right back into the bar, and you keep working. Careful and high-pressure behavior, sexual or power harassment, compulsion to express- Sexual harassment, bro. <laughs> Dude, this company's awful. Dude, they make Blizzard look like a freaking church. Press opinions that were originally not anticipated, and even instructions that prohibited taking prescribed psychiatric medication. Oh, I've never heard of something like this in my life! It's like, oh, 
I have mental health issues. I need to take meds. No, no meds. Stream, no meds. And regarding the circumstances that gave rise to these accusations, this talent would further say, until now, I did not have the courage to press charges because I owed my agency the money I needed for my activities. However, I found myself in a situation where I was under mind control of the office management for a lengthy period of time and reached my mental and physical limits. I mean, I, obviously, that, that's, that means, like, intense manipulation. More specifically, I suffered from severe withdrawal symptoms when I stopped taking my psychiatric medication. Wait, they forced her to stop? It's not like she wanted to start and they didn't let her start. They actually told her you are not allowed to take psychiatric medication anymore. We want that gremlin energy on stream. We want you to schizo shitpost. Yeah. This led to repeated self-harm and becoming dependent on alcohol. Oh Finally, God, in March dude. of the year before last, I attempted but fail. Oh my god! What is with- Dude, if it was- <laughs> This is the same story again, just worse. Literally worse. Order to continue my activities. I now suffer from a conversion disorder and will be hospitalized in the future because I have difficulty walking and speaking. Because oh of this, I have decided god. that it is no longer possible for me to establish a trusting relationship with my office. Okay, you don't want a trusty relationship with your office. You want to get the hell out of there. Oh my lord. Regarding the accusations above, we have already consulted with relatives and lawyers and recorded and videotaped everything. In the future, we intend contacting the company through our lawyers, including payment of debts. I am deeply sorry for causing you concern. And she has debts to the company? Wait a second. Don't tell me. Do not tell me that this company... Listen, I have seen a lot, a lot of back-end contracts of co VTuber companies. I have never... Okay, so so one thing that the VTuber companies are supposed to do for their talent, or I say supposed to do because I think that this is only fair, that the VTuber will hire the talent and they'll take a cut of the talent's profit. However, they are going to, you know, they'll pay for her VTuber model, let's say. Uh, they'll they'll help you get a, an iPhone if you need an iPhone. Uh, and I mean, VTuber models can be really expensive. So, like, that makes a lot of sense. Don't tell me that Wactor makes you pay the debts. Like, let's say they spend $5,000 on a VTuber model and you join. Do not tell me you have to work off a $5,000 debt to the company, right? That that sounds dystopian. There's no way. In this way, these may be my last words, but I wholeheartedly love all my fans who supported me until now. This talent later on stream revealing that she had gone through with two attempts alongside also- Oh my God, bro. There's some really good VTuber agencies out there. Like this puts a bad name on every single VTuber agency. Niji Sanji just ruined the reputation of every big VTuber agency and Wactor just ruined the reputation of every small one honestly bro there's they do some of them do so much good and then you have these these absolute valentino fucking psychos abusing people feeling like they own people it's also usually the japanese companies seeming just at least from my personal experience like my god the detailing that walker had been forcing her to create content on fantia that's specifically being adult orientated asmr con they forced her to do porn oh my god i like i'm actually i'm shaking i'm shaking it's like you say boss they treat them like idols bro 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 dude they're they're teaching they, they forced her to do porn that that's fucking awful that's the worst thing in the world well not doing porn but being forced to do it 10 as she had taken out a loan with walker to continue with her activity she took out a loan with walker she i told you she owed them money somehow she had been told that if she did not have the money to pay it back, she could pay it back with sex with the staff. And it Bro, I it's mind-blowing to me that people get away with this. I was just talking to Muda yesterday about how um, the VTuber agencies that, that, that own you and own your soul, they're worse than like the MCNs that just siphon money off people. Well, <laughs> I was proven right within 24 hours. Oh my lord, dude. That is so bad. In addition, this town had signed a contract in which she had a fixed salary and hours, and with the passage of time, she did not even earn 10% of what she had been earning in the beginning as this VTuber. The sound now- Okay, again, that's not necessarily uh, a strike against the company. A lot of VTubers and streamers in general, when they debut or they launch, they, they, there's like a hype to their launch. They're part of a group. And if for some reason either the content doesn't keep up or whatever, or the group hype dies down, then slowly but surely the, you know, the VTuber plummets in success and therefore makes less money. That in itself 
is not a strike against the company. It's everything else that's the strikes against the company. Uh, it's the o owing money to the company, the paying up loans with sex. The fact that there are loans, like what does Wachter do for you that, that it's worth signing your soul to the literal Satan? Now opening up her very own Twitter account that under- Unless she's paid by the hour. There's no way she's paid by the hour. Shudoku Hera. Well, at the same time as that information drop, another Walker talent came forward. Oh, that being Nimo Remy Charo. Oh, herself also sending out a message in both Japanese and Spanish, stating, I hereby declare that Office W has forced me to conduct activities which were not in my contract, changing my contract unilaterally and expressing opinions which were originally not mine because of their coercive actions attitude oh for a long time. Oh my god, dude, it's horrible. They like, they own your soul. And here, the crazy thing is, you have people over there at Wachter's company that thought they could get away with this. No one commits a crime if they don't think they can, they can get away with it. And they did. They, they're so used to this, this disgusting vice grip that uh, a lot of companies have on their employees, especially in the idol industry where they, they take in, they take these poor girls and they, they own them body and soul and they really think they can get away with this forever i'm i have endured unreasonable pressure and instructions from the office but recently there have been instructions to conduct my activities after the end of the contract period that my heart could not support very well recently i have been unable to sleep without resorting to medication my physical condition has not improved and i am unable to continue with my daily life i am deeply sorry to involve you in this way however i decided this for the sake of my future activities and the other members who suffer unreasonableness in the said office. For more information regarding the legal perspective and process details, see Uega Kun's article. As Dude. we have done in the past, in case we get sued or go to court, we have already consulted with lawyers. We will be back, so please wait a little longer until everything is over. This town now opening up. Bro, the I I'm like, I'm mortified. I knew it was bad. I didn't know. I knew Wachter specifically was awful. I did not think they were even close to this bad. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I've literally been beefing with corporations my entire YouTube career, okay? Whether it's it's Crunchyroll or, or fucking Funimation or other companies. <laughs> I like, it's actually mind boggling. And for so long, I would say this shit and people would say, oh, you just hate them because they're successful. Their very own Twitter account under Chino Cham. And regarding that individual of Yoega Kun, that being the recently debuted male VTuber Tenjo Yoiga, themselves debuting with a model originally intended for an English-speaking talent who had left Wachter before debuting. This VTuber on Twitter saying, sign. I have been accused by the firm W of being in breach of contract, being suspected of directing work outside the contract, and of being charged an unfair penalty of 5 million yen, and having- That's $33,000. What? Oh my god, that's insane! my YouTube channel revoked even though my contract was still in effect. The reason for this is that there was originally a section of the contract that seemed to be incorrect. And in a conversation with a staff member, I told him that I would not do any work outside the contract. That staff member replying, I think you should do the work outside of the contract just as I do it too. The sound in their statement- Oh my lord! You, you have to do the work outside the contract. What on earth does that even mean? We told you you need a stream, but you also have to suck dicks for a living. Further saying, this shows that these tactics have been repeated habitually and that the staff speaks as if they're doing things that they should not be doing to people with mind control or mental illnesses. This town then referring to a he, potentially a staff member or the CEO of Wachter, saying it can be to do. Also, I'm pretty sure Wachter's CEO specifically viewed his talents like a harem. Confused if that was Wachter or a different one of these fucking new terrible organizations. It's from this that he is forced to put only yes men around him. This is because he wants to ensure that his misdeeds do not come to public light. This Obviously. must have been the background for those who got fired in the past for breaking their contract. First, I have not breached the contract. If I had done so, I would have already have been fired from the company. Now the management is desperate. That's not necessarily true. I think a lot of people have that opinion that, or, or make that statement that if I would have breached the contract, it would have been fired. Let me tell you how these contracts 
contracts work? Because, again, not that I've necessarily seen any, but hypothetically, if I would have seen one of them, this is what it would have said. I'm <laughs> tap dancing around lawsuits every day out here. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. These contracts have incredibly vague guidelines so that you could breach the contract in incredibly vague, vague fucking ways. And that way, they'll never say anything to you. But when they actually want to get rid of you, they will get rid of you and they will throw the book at you with a laundry list of crimes that you committed because you breached incredibly stupidly vague contracted points. They will sue you into oblivion. Let's say they'll say that you need to stream, um, you know, uh, 30 hours a week, okay? They it's in the contract. You need to stream 30 hours a week. I'm just making this up because I know that that isn't a bunch of contracts. Also, minimum streaming times, which makes sense, right? So that's, uh, you're not going to hire a talent and have them just stream four hours and have a nice day, right? So let's say the minimum streaming time is 30 freaking uh, 30 hours a week of streaming. And for the for a couple of weeks here and there, they stream 28 hours. Now, technically, that does breach the contract, but no normal company would actually care and they're going to keep you. However, however, they will keep those bullets in their gun for later. So that when they actually ever do want to fire you, not only are they going to fire you, but they're also going to say that you caused irreparable financial harm to the company. Because at the very bottom of the contract, it always says, if you breach any of these clauses in the contract, we reserve the right to fire you. Now, streaming 28 hours a week, streaming only 20, 28 hours a week in January means that when you get fired in May, you, you caused irreparable financial damage to the company. And that sounds horrible, and they could sue you for it. That is how these contracts are laid out. If you violate the contract, then you're not necessarily going to be fired. But if you ever do get fired, you are going to get fired. You are going to get publicly humiliated and shamed. You are going to get canceled, and you are going to potentially get sued if you ever want to fight back. You can also never even mention that you were part of the company. That's why they're all re referring to this uh, this company, Wachter, as Office W, not actually Wachter, because part of the company doesn't even let you mention that you were part of the company it's nightmarish it's awful you just have to hope that they're you know they're gonna be the cool kids really trying to figure out what i did wrong and tries to twist it into a contractual breach to terminate me their law firm has also contacted me and said they would sue me they actually sent me an email with a mandate that i contact them which is bad it is a threat i was suspicious from the beginning but i didn't think that they were this corrupt this is the appearance literally everyone Literally everyone over the last month. Hmm, I didn't think they were this corrupt. Guys, guys, do you know what this sounds like? This sounds like vindication! Bro, I've been saying this for literal years. Years of people clowning on me and jumping down my throat for talking about this corruption. And everyone, nah, bro, nah, bro, I just, enemy girls, enemy girls, they're so nice and they make such good content and they're having so much fun. Why would you call them corrupt? Bro, all the Mickey Mouses on Twitter that have been jumping down my asshole for this for, for freaking years? Oh, oh, eat some, bro. W. I want to continue my activities in the future, and I want to do various things with various people. But this incident happened while I was in the midst of that, and I am filled with despair. However, it is not in my nature to back down and sneak around, so I will continue to fight until the end. It's really sad to think that in the past, there were people who had their contracts unfairly terminated, or were being made to pay unfair penalties out of say. fear and guilt after being subjected to this kind of- Wow unfairly terminated and they weren't actually able to speak up mm, interesting interesting it's almost like that's literally what the contract is designed to do to you thing we will take responsibility into our hands until the end to bring the darkness of this said office to light and ensure that mm, the said office which we can't mention by name everyone receives a rewarding ending in case we are unmasked or go to court the three of us have already consulted lawyers as we have done in the past we hope you don't lose sight of us we apologize for this offense of post crazy that so many lawyers need to get involved in this in these situations these are just people trying to have fun and make stream content okay this town ending their statement with we will never lose as they can be found on their brand new i've never lost my virginity because i never lose twitter account haman buddha and now bringing us over to the fourth talent kobe Bro. Ururu, directing viewers to the previous three statements and saying it is incredibly sad that this kind of unreasonableness is allowed i could not help but raise my voice that's what everyone's been saying. I, I love it. Every single person I've shown 
um, potential contract facsimiles. Not that I've, again, not that I've ever seen the actual contracts necessarily, but people that I have shown or talked about what the contract hypothetically would say if I did see it, uh, those people were all like freaking out that it's actually allowed. So a lot of those contracts are not actually legal in the West. They're only legal in Japan. Um, like, um, for example, there, there are these indefinite clauses to the contracts that aren't legal in, uh, in the West, specifically, like clauses to the contracts that last in perpetuitum. Those aren't allowed in the West, but they are allowed in Japan. I think a lot of people don't expect a contract that they're signing to not be legal. <laughs> It's like, wait, this is a billion dollar company. What the fuck? They're giving me this contract and it's gonna, it's making me sign up to give them a kidney as well? <laughs> wait, what? I didn't think that I'd wake up in a bathtub full of ice with a crescent shaped scar over my left kidney. That was weird. That wasn't in the contract. That previous veteran members of Wachter also had their contracts terminated because of this type of case. I cannot continue staying with Office W, which causes this much damage to my favorite members. The daily commitment, the jobs I worked hard on, and the time I spent with all of you are all of the important treasures to me. That is why I cannot tolerate what is happening in Office W. This is like an insult to the talents themselves. I will be gone for a while, but do not worry. I promise that I will come back as soon as possible. Brother. I'm so sorry for writing so badly. This is all. I am Kobe Ururu. The sound opening up a brand new Twitter account under Maro Maro. Now bringing us over to their next to last talent. That being <laughs> Kumaboshi Mahiru. Not <laughs> next to last talent. Bro, these guys are losing their talents like you're playing a Pokemon Nuzlocke. Every gym, they lose a couple more talent as they go on little by little all their talent <laughs> bro it's so sad uh that was ironic by the way i am not sad at all sending out any type of plan statement and instead simply tweeting out what am i supposed to do alongside bro I it's the last talent <laughs> i don't want to be a talent in an org i want to be all the talent in the org thing to report just wait a little longer as we may potentially see this talent also leave walker bring us now to the final talent talent izuki miyu the first and original talent of walker having been responsible for like there's one talent there's the one there's two talent left in the whole company there's one and then there's the founder hmm for expanding out the agency to the spanish-speaking community and having gone on hiatus from the agency mid 2023 but now wait there's two people left in the agency okay one is the founder and the founder's been on hiatus for a year <laughs> Promising a return in March. Yeah. Been wondering if the talent behind this VTuber will be the same talent that had left last year. As True. now, Probably numerous not. former members of Wachter have reacted. Getting here with Axtra Lorraine. Tweeting out, damn, it's going down. I'm yelling timber. Dude, this is like the ultimate catharsis. This, this is the, the Nux meta, okay? As I've already told you, I have plenty of shit behind the scenes that I want to leak. That I won't. I don't leak shit. I just sit here and triumphantly punch the air when things inevitably will go my way. Because if you do the right thing, if you uphold the right values, things will go your way. You got to worry about being a good person. You got to worry about you yourself doing the right thing. All right. Other people want to do shit and fling shit and whatever. It will come back to them. Karma's a bitch and it comes for everyone, bro. You just sit back, be a good person, and watch the fireworks. The amount of things just from four people, imagine the whole company. I really wish it goes <laughs> yeah. down. Oh. Also saying, damn, there's so many uh, things I want to say. Yeah, and remarking yeah, on Walker, yeah, yeah. stating they really are like cockroaches. Right. We also have another former member, Shurahiwa, recently releasing her very own merch collection with Uwu Market Hell and yeah. tweeting out, group chat, be like. Ooh! <laughs> Dude, every, every, there's always a group chat. There's literally always a group chat. Another former member of Wachter here stating, I welcome all my fellow comrades that share the same pain and suffering we all experienced. No matter where they are in the world, I'll always be there to support you. And further remarking, I will be waiting for you. Crazy. Another former member, Yukini Crazy. Alwyn, echoing all of our thoughts and saying, February never ceases to amaze me. As our last former member here, Dude, this year has been going on for less than two months. And all this happened. Ryu Yumiiri would remark, I wonder how many children they will make unhappy. I hope they get blasted to hell. Holy shit. Turning a fan of Wachter, who they had leaked personal information of. They doxed a fan. Wachter doxed a fan. 
This individual now remarking, I hope someday you pay for everything you did to so many people taking Uh advantage of their emotional vulnerability. A year ago, you threatened me thinking that I would still be afraid. But what you don't know is that I learned not to let myself be manipulated. Damn. Fuck is rebranding, originally promising more IRL content by their VTubers. But after the release of this information, changing their profile picture to white text on black. And very quickly for our Spanish speaking audience, we also turn back to the Spanish VTuber agency. All right, all right, all right, all right. I was just here for the Wachter um, downfall. I, I'm not here for anything else, all right? I, that's what I wanted to cover here. Holy shit, bro. Oh my God, dude. I have a great idea for a new VTuber agency. Hear me out. It's a VTuber agency that starts off. They have a bunch of talent. Oh my God, I am literally so smart. VTuber agency starts off, bunch of talent. Everything's going really well for about a month, and then it's the ultimate dumpster fire. They all come out with statements leaving the agency and absolutely shitting all over the agency. They annihilate the agency. They diarrhea carpet bomb all over it, coming out with the most absolutely insane stories. Like, they talk about how the CEO is into shit play, and and they had to mail their shit to the CEO so that he... Some just abhorrent stuff, all right? Company literally goes down in flames, and then those VTubers who left that company all come together to make a brand new agency wink wink and they have literally the greatest marketing strategy known to mankind this is so smart i'm writing this down if you see uh within the next year or so uh, a new vtuber agency pop up go down in flames and one of the craziest vtuber scandals of all time and then those talent come together to actually form a brand new agency i was behind it i'm just saying i was behind it okay <laughs> i am the puppet master uh, d- d- don't clip this because if it happens, I don't want anyone to actually know it was me. But if it does happen within the next year, you'll know it was me. Like, subscribe, and this video was streamed live on kick.com slash See you there. Stay weird, fam.